Hey guys, today I'm checking out the new Paul Reed Smith Archon. This is going to replace, or it did replace, the original Archon. If you're familiar with the Archon series, originally they were a made in USA series of amplifiers that had a 100 watt head, a 50 watt head that had the ability to switch to half wattage, and then a 25 watt and a 50 watt combo, again, that could switch to half wattage. And what they've done is they've done away with that series and they came out with a new series that essentially is a 50 watt head with a 212-112 cabinet that you can add to it or a 50 watt combo. Now they no longer switch down to half power mode, but you know, everybody's gonna have mis mixed feelings about that. Me personally, that was not a feature I really liked in those amps. I felt like every time I put it to half wattage, kind of lost all the balls <laughs> on the amp. And so it wasn't something I used very often. And something about those amps is they sounded really good, even turned down. So uh, it didn't, you didn't have to crank them anyway. So it didn't need a half wattage mode, in my opinion. Now, the things that are gone, of course, are the 25 watt combo is gone and the 100 watt head is gone. And of course, the rumor has been for a couple years now that the MT100, the Mark Tremonti 100 head will eventually come out. I'm sure if that's something that's in the works, they didn't want the 100 watt head competing with that. One of the issues with the original Archon series made in the USA was they had a noise issue with the effects loop. You would plug your uh, pedals into effects loop and uh, especially if they were buffered, they would really create a lot of noise and hum and especially this hum that was really hard to kick loose. Um, and there was a modification, I think at one point PRS like started modifying them and stopped that problem. Now, that being said, this one, the one they sent me, this is just one on loan from Paul Reed Smith and I don't know if it's a, it's obviously an import from Indonesia, so it's not like a prototype, but it definitely, maybe it's just a, a couple they had, you know, beat blims or whatever, because this one does have, you can see right here, it has the vinyl has been smashed a little bit as they put the chassis in and it hums a little bit. I can't kick the hum. I tried different power uh, cord, different power supplies, different rooms. It just has a hum to it. It's a light hum and it's something I've experienced with some other amplifiers. So just be aware if that's something that bugs you you're probably gonna have a problem with this, especially playing quiet in your room. Uh, now, again, that's not the focus of these amps. The amps are focused to, to play out and record, but a lot of us are using amps now, not to practice with, but to home record, and that's becoming huge. Even professionals home record, so it's important that the amps perform well at all volumes. One uh, quick thing I was thinking about when I was editing this is I mentioned that the vinyl was messed up here on the amplifier and I want to point out that I did take pictures of it, which is what you saw, and I did send it to PRS letting you know that the one that they sent me to, to uh, use for this video is uh, blemish or defective and uh, they said that they will make note of that and obviously let the, uh, t the people know that check them before they ship out of the factory to look for issues like that so that they will check for that. So I'm just letting you know what happened with that. The other change is they added LEDs. So now you have a LED readout, blue for the clean channel, red for the gain channel. Uh, and that obviously when you hit the foot switch, it does it as well. The old Archon had no uh, display whatsoever. So you'd have to listen to know what channel you're on. I, I've never really noticed that as a problem but they added this, it's a nice feature. The other thing that's changed is the new foot switch just does the channel changing. Although it's a quarter inch plug, so you can use any uh, foot switch with that. I really enjoy that. They did remove the uh, old feature, which is the old Archons had the effects loop on off as well. So you could do the effects on on off. Uh, feature. So the other thing that they did is they changed the look of the amplifier. So the original Archons had the, what I call the classic metal look, uh, where you see where the amplifiers, the row knobs at the bottom, and there's a big, you know, kind of upper piece right here. This is going for the classic look where you see a lot of the old Fender amps and a lot of the older amps where the row of knobs are on the bottom, or sorry, at the top. This amplifier, whether you get the combo or the head, it's the same amplifier. They're just putting it in different chassis. That actually saves them money. They don't have to make specifically a head chassis and a combo chassis. And that brings us to the important part, which is, yes, the amp did go from the US and Maryland to Indonesia, it's made by Cortec, but it also dropped. The street price on this is $1,000 US and the old Archon, the USA one was $1,600 US for the 50 watt version. So a drop in $600 is a significant drop in price. To give you an idea of that, it makes it less than what dealers were probably paying for the amplifiers. Uh, so you're, you're getting a, a really good deal. The combos are also went down They're $1,200 uh, now, where before they were, like I said, above $1,600, they were at $1,800. So this makes it a more affordable for a lot more musicians. Uh, this is definitely a trend we see in all markets. And of course, PRS is going to it as well, which is, you know, like Apple, Apple comes out with a new technology, everybody likes it. And then they're like, how can we make this 
more affordable so more people can get it. That's what Paul Reed Smith has done. They made an amplifier that everybody liked and they thought, okay, we sold one. I'm, pro I'm pretty sure to everyone who has $2,000, can we sell one to everyone who has $1,000, which is what they're going after. All right, another thing is uh, they also got rid of the standby switch. That, uh, you know, there's also a lot of discussion about whether an amp needs a standby switch. I like having a standby switch. So like for now, when I'm talking right now with my lapel mic, uh, the amp is making noise. The only way to stop the amp from making noise is to actually turn it off. And then you hear the little pop sound uh, from the speaker. Uh, it would be really nice if I had a standby mode. Um, you don't need it. It's just a luxury item at this point uh, for a lot of amps and I wish that luxury was there. Uh, I really liked how Paul Smith used to do it too with the three-way switch. I'm wondering if you can modify this with that old switch. I like that instead of using two switches, uh, the old ones, it went to center position was for standby. So you had a off, standby, then on. I always liked that better than two switches, but you know, alas, it's gone. So next is the sound. Let's get into that. <laughs> of gain on tap definitely that uh, high gain distortion that you see a lot uh, and that was one of the issues with the old Archon is that it did the high gain sound and as you backed off the gain it thinned out a little bit it didn't really decrease it the gain went down but it didn't really give you more tonal varieties other than just straight up metal on this version let's go ahead and go to halfway it does clean up a little better in the gain and and because it's retaining that low end and that's really what changed they just add some more low end to it because it's not losing low end so fast it's got a little bit more girth behind it sounds a little bit more like rock <laughs> like about that is that's where I would set my amp, uh, believe it or not. That's what I like. I like it to have a little bit less fizz and more percussion. Let's go ahead and turn that down a little bit more. Uh, and now we're at about three. <laughs> And that's great if you're gonna use that neck pickup. Now, another great feature of the Archon that it's known for is that amazing clean. It's very, very clean. Some, pi some, pi some players call it hi-fi clean. I call it just very clean. <laughs> to me and I could be wrong but I feel like the bright switches are not as bright on this version <laughs> So, I mean, it sounds great. It still retains that great pedal platform. Uh, you can run some pedals in front of it. Sounds good. Uh, you know, is it as good as the old Archon in the Clean Channel? I think so. I mean, it's definitely like the MT-15. I would put this on par with the MT-15 in sound-wise. So, if you like the MT-15, if you played the MT-15 uh, from PRS and you like the Dirty in the Clean Channel, this is going to be exactly like that. To my ears, they're, this is more similar to that than the old Archon was. And keep in mind, all three of these amps I'm talking about are very, very close to each other. Now, just like the original Archons, this also will not dirty up on the clean channel. In other words, you can run the gain on the clean channel full blast and you're not gonna get any breakup. It stays clean, no matter pretty much, no matter how loud you turn this thing up and no matter how much you run that gain on that channel. So it is a clean, clean channel. 
Uh, so that's something to think about. One thing that was nice about the 25 watt Archon was I could get that to break up a little bit, which was nice. But this one is definitely more like the 50 watt and 100 watt Archons. It has uh, the same amount of complement of preamp tubes, so they didn't change anything that way, but it does change the power tubes. The old one had the ability to be EL84s, EL34s, sorry, or 6L6s. This has a new tube, which is basically something that's supposed to be in between those two tubes. Uh, I'll put the name of the tube right there, I forgot. But it's. Uh, but I talked to a, a couple friends of mine that are tube connoisseurs, and they said that basically, although yeah, it's kind of in between, it's really more voiced like an EL34. So this is gonna be probably more like the EL34 version of the Archon unless like the 6L6 version. Something to think about with that as well. Is it as good as the old Archon? Well, there's just a tonal quality to the old one that I really like. It just has more harmonic overtones. It sings a little better, but I would not, it wouldn't even come through on YouTube. I know that like, a lot of people are gonna say A-being, uh, but I'm sure there's gonna be videos out there A-being the two. And I'm sure without even seeing those videos, I could just tell you, I can predict what's gonna happen. They're gonna tell you that it's really, really, really close. It's really close. It's so close. It's like I said, it's, it's you gotta decide if you want, if you like the, 1% to 10% better of, in my opinion, better sound of the old one. Is that worth $600 to you is what we have to figure out. All right, as always guys, I wanna thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Till the next time, know your gear. Today's highlighted viewer is Gene. Gene, thank you for supporting the channel. I love the shirt and the guitar. Thank you so much because without you and supporters like you that buy merch or become patrons, we couldn't remain an independent channel like we have. Thank you again to you and everyone for supporting the channel.